not too quite proud of myself with this, but here we go anyway. Right, everybody, if everybody was watching my last video, you would have known I'd done a big swap with um, Scray 66 and literally received some decals the other day. And the two tone, but they look amazing on the shell, and you're going to find out why. Here we go. Doesn't that look amazing? And I've moved the Strada sticker down. So, literally, you know, it fits really well. I've made it fit. Um, put the the other two on the front, so I've got these skulls going up. But what I like about it, the green that Dan's done is totally different than the green that's on the body shirt, um, on the decal, so they stand out. But question, Dan, why is this all frayed up? It's like frayed. I don't know if you've had a nitro on it or something, but it's melted it. But I tried to straighten it out, but it was just damaging the decal, so it looks like it's been in a crash. Yeah, there you go, it's been in a crash. But I put the um, Team Assault HPI wheels on, and today I found out that Maverick and Near Enough are owned by HPI now, so I know that the spares aren't too bad. They're quite cheap, actually. But um, there's a slight issue with, I think it's this diff, or. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna rip them all to bits, get the diff out, re grease, clean them, blast them, re grease them, stick them back together. Um, it's mad because it it looks amazing. It's just I haven't got a, a lipo battery to really give it its full beans. But I'll sit there tonight and have a little look at it. But I also um, cleared the window off a little bit, took the front decal off here to give it more of a room to make it look more like it. Um, the LEDs are going to be going in here. Some mad idea down there as well. But it's really, I'm quite impressed with it, to tell the truth. I actually do like it. It's a, What I like about it is it's a different car. And we're on about this on the phone to him. It's nice to have a car that's different. And never had a Maverick, never had eight shocks on a car before, which is, I did notice one of them needs a service. But I'll do that later anyway. But it's just a quick one to show you that it's slowly getting decaled up. But I've got a hole on the roof there. I was gonna actually strap that on. I was gonna put a screw through it, and every time, every time it bounced, you know what I mean. If it it fucking works, it, there you go. Um, you know you'd have that on the top of the car, but I think it'll just spoil the old atmos. So I'm not even gonna bother with that. Um, so there's Strada. Um, found an amazing Ford sticker for you. I'm going to a Ford pickup or a Ranger. I don't know, but. Needs a needs me to do a slight tweak work on it because I've got to get all the wheels set in correctly and I've noticed there's where's that wobble? No, it's on the front one, isn't it? I, I tightened a few things up last night and I'll tell you what they done. What a motor. See why you liked it so much. It it just shifts. Like that to me is not straight. So I'm gonna take that off and I'll do it again. I'm a fussy get. I am a fussy get, I don't know. Yes I am. I've got some stickers going on the back of here as well, so I'm just showing you the first update. Um, the windows will be tinted out later anyway. I'm smoking them up, so it looks. I tell you what, man, it's a it, it's a shame the crawler wheels wouldn't work on it because they would they wouldn't fit inside the you know and see see how near they are in there. See, well that's near enough on the beans as well. So I have to think about what I'm going to do and. I noticed that one of these is leaking, so this is all going to get stripped down. Um, the power seems to be just on the back shock. The front shock doesn't seem to have any consistency. Um, the way to chest a good car is to get hold of the wishbone and bend it. A lot of playability in that means it's a lot. It's like a bit of a whack, but what about it? It's only got a 3,009 battery in it. It's killed it now, it's dead. Um, but I'll have to get a, a LiPo for it. Because I just can't get over how good it, it works. But I just thought I'd just show you this artwork. It's uh, Metal Militia. Um, some Spanish gentleman on you eBay see my channel and give me his link. And a three ninety nine they cost. And they, they just fit a one scale dead easy. And I've put some orders in for another one. There's a new body shell on the way for this. Um, it's the same make but... I'm going to do some modifications and 
also I've had an idea but I don't know how it worked. Just just bear with me a minute. I know I don't know what's going on. So I just just bear with me how this works. this old um, spoiler that was on Terry 8445's old Beamer. I was thinking about putting that there, making that actually fit on. So what I'm going to do is because there's that much, hardly that much room there, I'm going to mod it to fit actually onto it so it's got its own little spoiler on the back. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to put it there, but look, shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It did look crap then. Um, literally, if you get the idea, it'll be looking, when it's done, that'll be fitting into there. So what I've got to do is just finalise it with the Dremel, get the deadline straight and that'll be fitting straight on. And so I'll have like a, um, see what I'll do, heat them up, push them down, get them straight. That'll give me a bit more distance between the two moulded sides, but that's what it'll look like. Um, but I've got to spray this up yet. I'm going to spray it up with the same colour. This is. Um, well, I have to undercoat that, Dan. I don't know. I think I do, don't I? Bit of matte white should do it, shouldn't it? Um, I might just automate to colour it, undercoat this. It's got this horrible paint on it. Comes off just by scratching the bug. Um, but yeah, well, I'll sort something out with that. I'll just probably rub it down. I'll go on there, but it's just an idea. Um, needs LEDing up. Needs smoking, which is getting done this afternoon. I'm gonna put a little bit of spray in there and just spray it off and get that out of the way. Um, I don't know what you think of it. To me, I'm absolutely gobsmacked with it. I got up this afternoon, well, this afternoon because I didn't go to bed till seven o'clock. Um, so I've been cleaning the the garage out and at my own speed, so to speak, with me being ill, I can't work very quick. Mm -hmm. And I've seen these, and I remember got these, and I thought, wait a minute, they'll fit on Maverick. And as Dan will know, this was up here, and I just, the good tip for you, Dan, taking stickers off, buy one of these. I've got to do this anyway, so you're going to see me doing it. Just get, stay about two inches away, move it forward, and you'll see it heat up like bubble. Not bubble, you don't want it to bubble, just rub it till you're like ready. Like that's gone soft now. I'm pushing that on with my finger, and it's gone completely on. Now it's completely stuck. What you're doing, you're activating the, the adhesive behind the, the decal. People just get on and put them on, and they wonder why they get loads of bubbles, but. Um, you get a bubble, just get yourself a razor and dot it and do the old dot trick. But damn me, that's amazing. Wait till you see the new shell I'm getting and the artwork I do for that because it's the same shell, it's just different colour. Um, I'm going to do some work on it. I'm a bit concerned about no free playing in a diff, which is brushless. I don't understand that because that should be literally just free rolling left and right, left and right. But it might be just me being a bit too fussy on the gearing. Just don't get me wrong, it's well built. I've never known a car to be built so well. Especially a car that I've only heard of a couple of times. Like I know about Ti Thunder Tiger. Um, I do know about them because, of, you know, Teddy's got one. I had an MTB, I think it was, or something like that, like a little truggy. I had one of them before I got into when they were really bad and also down. I actually sprayed the inside with um, Tamiya Green to literally set that off a little bit more. And if you look now, it's more a peak. Like, I made a mistake, didn't I? But um, that's the shell on its own. And I'm, I think it looks amazing. Not too much decal, um, but a load of performance. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to clean all this up. I'm not happy with... I'm not happy with some things that I want to do to it. I want to try and cut this length of wire down and get it moulded on. But I'll tell you what, damn man, this is a really strong little brushless. You know, it's even running crappy. And I am batteries, and it just seems to want to go. 
Um, I've got to get myself some lipo batteries now. Um, I was going to put the free cell in, but I was looking at the Goliath and I've set it up to stay in there, so I'm not going to be able to try that. But Goliath's got to get going as well. I haven't been using them a lot lately, now the weather's changing, I've got to use them. So. This is the Maverick system, bloody hell Dan, I was looking on the internet and I found out this actual motor is worth about £50 and I was like wow. Now look mate, if you ever need anything family wise just give us a bell, I'll, I won't mind driving up to that centre of the country just to help you out. Friends are friends, not what you can get out of your friends, it's what you can do for them. And me dad said that. Um, right, literally there you go everybody. Fuck off. Um, also, I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, people like their fans in certain places, and I prefer it straight over the motor. And I'm going to show you a little trick how to do that now. Right, some of them say it doesn't fit on there, but what you do, you do that. And if, if you think it's going to rub against the um, the cowling, or the housing, if you want to be so religious on your money wise and talking speech. Coming, Mum! Dinner time. Yes, it's dinner time. It's Friday. It's Friday today. It's fish day today. So, but there you go. I'll put it back on there. Some people like it over the edge of the pole. Um, I prefer it. If it comes as it is, I keep it as it is. There's a cracking one on the actual electronic speed controller. Um, tonight this is all going to get dismantled and redone. But the reason why I'm stripping it down, I've got to get to the diffs. So I'd rather remove all this and replace it. But there's no need to replace anything here. That'll never get replaced. That'll never get replaced. I've got that now. So, you know, I'm actually quite happy with it because I never thought... I don't one of these because I've seen that many of them on the internet. Right, now we know what's wrong with it. Um, right, you see what happened then. You put this on. You put this on here. And then you notice that it was stuttering then. If you could dare it, go, well, what is happening? It's something really pathetic. Um, literally, when you put it on there, it touches, see? Cheapo. So what I do, I've still got any left. Got two shims here. I used to make my own, which was better. Better. Bloody, I'm a 40 year old man, not a child. Better. That's more like it. Um, I hate fucking my vocabulary up, it just does my head in. Right, so we've got a couple. I need one the same size as that. Yeah, that do. Have you got a small one there? There you go. Right. Got two normal washers. Doesn't have to be Pacific sizes. If you're a bit of a geek and you've got everything done the right, the same size, well, do it my way then. Um, you stick that on there, like that. You get the other one. And then you get the other bolt if I find out where the hell it's gone. I don't see how to it. Um, There we go. I put it RC over there. Some people do do what Dan does and sticks it over there, but I'm just going to put it back to that and I'm going to reprogram that as well. So I've got a funny feeling it's too much brake and not enough acceleration on it. Um, but, mate, it's bloody fantastic. I made up with it. Cheers, buddy. And I'll show you next time what they'll look like with the decals on. Cheers, boss. Right, just a quick one, everybody, as you can see. Um, I've now got stickers.